Well, John, your reaction to that uh, performance and result? Yeah, listen, it was a cracking game. Um, both sides really went at it. It was a huge intensity to the game. Um, it ebbed and flowed in terms of you know who was maybe in the ascendancy. Um, but you know, all told, I'd be really, really happy with the, the performance of the lads. I thought they really grounded out and kept their composure and you know found a way to find that, that score we needed there in the last couple of minutes. And we're probably unlucky not to retain another possession to see if we get a shot off there just to the finish to win it but uh, listen all told yeah a, a, a cracking game and uh, very happy with the performance Losing grow integrity for the, the closing stages was always also massive as well obviously yeah listen we've watched it back there on the tape and you know it's quite clear there's no contact you know the player you know basically just grabbed his stomach and just turned himself down the ground you know there's no contact it's very disappointing you know there's much to do, but nothing really at the end of the day. It's a card we'll expect to be rescinded completely. Um, you know, there's, there's a narrative there at the moment, you know, that Garod is playing on the edge or doing X, Y, and Z. And, you know, it's feeding into people's decision making right now. Um, it needs to stop, you know, because it's, it's going to have a, a big impact. And it's, it's just disappointing that, you know, it's really disappointing when you see a player uh, do that, you know, uh, because. It was, it was a great game, there was a lot of physicality to the game and it was a tremendous contest and, you know, it's just really disappointing uh, that, you know, there was nothing there and we've seen the video footage, I think it's there for everybody to see and, uh, but like, listen, at the end of the day, it, it shouldn't take from the, the overall game, which is a cracking game of horror. You mentioned, obviously, the narrative. Is there a danger that that then maybe seeps into the mentality of a player and it changes the way they play the game? No, we'll, 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 we'll be guarding against that, I can assure you. you know, listen, Gerrard is a very honest uh, player, just like all the rest of the lads we have. They work extremely hard. You know, they're, they're very focused on getting their tackle in and you know, trying to get the ball and kill the ball. And, uh, you know, listen, uh, I don't think... You know, Garod is a very experienced player at this stage and is well able to cope with that, that attention and that, uh, you know, that expectation that might be out there, you know. Aaron Galan didn't play any part today. Is, is he suffering from an injury? Uh, just a, a minor a minor strain. Uh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, I'm back training next week. Obviously, same exact fixture in, a, in three weeks' time in a, in a Munster final. It's going to be what we think will be an epic after today's battle. Um, I think, you know... If, the, if it's anything like that game today, uh, I think it'll be a cracker. Uh, that was a great game of Horn and some fantastic scores taken by both teams. Uh, some, some lovely passages and play put together by both teams. And uh, we're just really, really proud of our guys, you know. Uh, we've had a tough couple of weeks, I suppose, with different injuries and different knocks. And it's great to see the lads that are getting their opportunity, seizing it. And um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. Um, were you aware of the result of the Cork Watford match beforehand and did it have any effect on uh, the, way the approach to the game? No, I, I, I deliberately wouldn't engage in that at all. I'd let that off until after our game just because yeah, you don't want anything like that seeping into your, your mindset or into your thinking. And to be honest, when you come down here, you have enough to be thinking about. So, uh, yeah, definitely very focused on our game, I suppose, to anybody else's any of today. It's enough to play one in the day without playing two. John, how satisfying is it, you know, down a man, uh, struggling in some areas on the pitch, just to grind it out and find that result? Uh, hugely satisfying, you know. Uh, I think the players today worked really, really hard for each other, just super, super impressed with the way the guys that came in, you know, into the team, just settled in straight away. They all made hugely valuable contributions. That's really good for our group going forward now, because the lads who have been carrying Ox, you know, when they come back into to training, you know, they know that they've got, you know, a, an added fight in their hands to try and win their place back. And uh, that's that's a really good thing for us, for our group. It's a really positive thing for our group. You would draw the fairest results. Sorry? Draw the fairest results. Probably, I think so, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great exhibition of shooting by two players in particular, Year Dermot Burns and Tony Kelly from Clare. Two, two uh, outstanding performances on place balls and and a couple from play as well, from both, I think. So, yeah, listen, they're two cracking hurlers, so... Uh, hats off to them boys, they put on a, a fantastic display today and more power to them. John, just wondering, is there any comment on some, you know, the statement that was released Tuesday night? Just have to ask if there's any comment on it. Listen, we, we've all moved on from that. You know, they say a week's a long time in politics, it's even longer in sport. So we're gone from that. We've all moved on.
Okay, challenge Justin Lynch to Carroll County. You're saying that you're, you're going to challenge the yellow card, which would be oh, absolutely. Un- unusual to, to challenge the oh, yellow card. Oh, yeah, but like, it's only right and fair for Grode, like, you know, because it's clear, it's very clear from the footage like that there isn't a yellow card there. And, you know, it's, a, it's an error, okay? So we'll, we'll be asking for that error to be, to be rectified, you know, because those double yellows do carry forward some significance, uh, you know, so it's important that, you know, the decisions are rectified if there is a mistake made. And I think it's clear in this instance that there is a mistake made. John, do you, do you have any more lads in particular back for the Monster Final, would you hope? Or? This is too early to say. We'll have to wait and see. We're, 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 we're making progress and great progress and we're very hopeful that more guys are going to come back into the reckoning in the next few weeks. Please, God. Are you happy now just to kick back and you can just watch things next week and next, relax for a week? Next weekend? Yeah. Ah, sure. Listen. Best of luck tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks.